What's up, people? This is Fluffy Bunny, Viva La Android, and if you noticed, I got my new camera finally. So this video should be great quality. You should be able to read the text on my phone and everything. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own custom widget, like this one right here that says Viva La Android. You can make your own logo and put it as a widget, and you can actually make it clickable. So this one takes me to YouTube, since it says Viva La Android. So before we get started, here are the top Instagram pictures of the week. Hashtag that's Viva La Android on Instagram. If you guys want to be my next video, make sure to hashtag your pictures as Viva La Android on Instagram. I'll check them out. If I like them, I'll put them on my next video. And like always, if you guys enjoy these videos, please make sure to drop me a like down below helps me out shares the video more people see it and I get more recognition you can use Photoshop to make your own logo or you can work with the editor that they give you with UCCW and now UCCW is the one that you use to create the widget now if you want to get all fancy and stuff you can use Photoshop I'll show you an example really quick so in Photoshop you want to click new and then you want to click blank document now you make it however big you want depending on how big you want to make the widgets and now it gives me this blank document and if you zoom in, you're going to see small squares over here, if you see these. If you don't see them, you want to go to this option right here, and then you want to find this square. If it's not selected, you'll find it over here. You want to click the square, zoom out a bit, and then select all of it. And once you select all of it, click this option right here, and then take the clear and then deselect button. And now from here, you can go into text. Now you have a text which you can mess around with. I'll make it a little big, not too big. I'm gonna make it say 20K since I just hit 20K subscribers. And then from here you get a bunch of different options where you can change your font. Don't be limited to what I show you. You can put pictures, you can draw on this, you can do anything. So, you know, just let your mind flow with this. So I'm just gonna use this font right here. Now once you move it down to the middle, it should lock on and you'd know that it's exactly in the middle. I'm gonna press check right here. And then if you go into the paintbrush, and then if you do wanna draw, make sure to click this right here and make sure to make a new layer if you don't have a layer under this. And then the layer under it, you wanna draw. So now when you draw, it's gonna go behind the text and it won't go in front. So whatever you draw is gonna go behind. And this is mine, I'm just gonna use this as an example since it's a video, I don't want it to take too long. I press done right here and click save. And then from here, this is a really, really important part. You wanna click this button right here and you wanna click save to gallery. You wanna click this, the one that you just made, and then over here you want to change it from JPEG to PNG. Now if you don't change it from JPEG to PNG, it's not going to be able to make it only the text available. It's going to make the whole picture as a white background. And then click OK after that and it will save. After this you want to go into UCCW and from here you want to click New. First it asks you what's your home screen size, the grid size, so mine is a 6x6. Six six, and what size you want the widget to be. So I'm going to make it a 6x3. You get a blank white square right there. It's basically showing you how big the widget is and that's the whole area you can work with. So if you want it to show your wallpaper, you just click this right here, change editor background, and click default. So for this one, I'm just gonna put it as default. And so basically with this, you get three main options right here. And the add and remove objects is one of them. So if you click this, you can add anything from here, from time to AM, PM, uh, the log is next to the time. You can add the date, you can add the time of year, you can add a static text or anything. And now for here, you want to go all the way down and then check just one of the images. Now it's going to say image 1, 2, 3, and 4. You just want to check one of them and press OK. Now you want to go to edit objects and now if you have a background like this that's pink and just in the way or just any color you want to click background right here and then you want to go to color and then you want to go to alpha and just drag that all the way down so it's clear and then for the image one you want to click image and then you can go all the way down and you'll find the image so you just click image so you then from here you want to go to the image that you just edited like for mine is 20k so stay on the options for the image right here you want to go into the scale right under the image and you want to scale it to how big you want it after that you want to go to position and then you want to move it now if you keep clicking it it's really slow but if you see this option right here that says faster movement if you click that and then do this it'll move much much faster and now i want to add two black bars that go this way and the way to do that is going to add and you want to go into shape for this because we're not adding a picture, we're adding a custom shape that we're going to make. So you want to, I'm going to add two of them since I want one on each side. I'll click close and then I'll go into edit object and I'll go into my first shape. I'm going to make it black. So I'm going to go into color and make it black. 
click OK, and I'm going to position it, and you see that it's moving down. After that, you want to go all the way down. There's going to be an option called width or height. You want to change it according to how you want it. So I'll just make it really, really long. And then the height, I won't make it that long, but go back to position. Move it a bit to the left, and that should be good. And I'm gonna go back and then shape two, which I still never edited. I'm gonna make it the same way, same exact thing, but I'm gonna put it under. Here's the two black bars, and just to be fancy, I'm gonna add the time right under here. And if you wanna add a time, go into add and remove objects. And then there's gonna be the first option, which is time. You wanna click that, click close. And now the time is right there, but I'm not sure if you can see it. It's really, really small, so we're gonna have to reposition that. Go into edit object time. First, you wanna change the size since we can't even see it. Go into size and make that bigger. Close. And we wanna go into position. You wanna drag this down right about there and then you want to go into position put it exactly where you want to be more precise and then you can even change the font for this you go down the options there's a bunch of more options for the time and now there are a bunch of more options for this put it right about there that looks good if you guys want to make it clickable so where it takes you to time or youtube or or anything like that so the first thing that you want to do if you want to make it enabled to make it clickable you want to press menu lock widgets hotspot mode and make sure that's on next thing you want to go into edit objects and the first option right here that says hotspots you want to click that and then you get up to 15 hotspots and then all of them are not assigned yet so you want to go into the first one and you want to click hotspot so you can change it from an app or a shortcut i'll click an app and i'll make this one as youtube it's going to load all your apps right here so then i'm going to scroll all the way down to youtube click youtube after that it should be selected and if you can't see the hotspot, just drag your finger over the screen and there should be a red box right there. It's right there, that's the box, that's the hotspot, so that's the clickable area right there that's really small. So we're going to want to make it bigger, I'm going to make it longer, and I'm going to make the height about that big. Close, and you want to go to down to position, go down. So I'll put it over the 20k, just because 20k I got that on YouTube. And you want to click save, save skin, and then you want to name it, I'll just name it 20k. Okay, and then from here you just want to exit this. You want to go into your widgets. You want to look for the UCCW widget. If you're running a launcher like Nova Launcher, which allows you to resize the widget, it's not going to matter which widget. You but if your phone doesn't let you resize widgets, make sure to look for the size that you made it. So I'm just going to choose a 2x4 right here and then change the size. Place it right there, and it's going to come up with this menu with all your widgets for UCCW. And you want to look for the one you just made. So mine's right there. I'll click it and then you touch here to load it and then it's right there looks really really good and it says 20k and then it has the time right there so when I click 20k it should take me to YouTube works great not a problem now you can make it launch whatever you want you can make the time launch clock app if you want and obviously this one looks a lot better than this one just because I designed this one on the Photoshop on the computer which gives you more options, more flexibility, and just it's easier to work with. And you can use custom images from online to do this and just anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. A lot of you asked for this and a lot of you have been asking for a tutorial instead of apps. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And like always, here's the top comments of the week right here. If you guys want to be in my next video, make sure to comment below. And if you guys don't know about my contest giveaway, it was last episode, which I uploaded two days ago. And I'm giving away an Android Mini TV, so go comment on that. You guys are going all out with the comments. I love it. I've been reading every single comment. As I'm recording this video, there's over a thousand comments, and I read every single comment so far. <laughs> and I'm recording this video on Monday, so it hasn't even been a whole 24 hours, and there's that much comments. Anyways, if you guys got an Android, make sure to subscribe to this channel. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a like. And like always, Android for life. Peace. So welcome to my paradise and all the things around it I used to feel alone but now I feel like I'm surrounded So thank you to my angels and the man that's up above And my only competition, that artist that wore a glove I'm chasing legends, so I guess I'm chasing heaven I'm placing bets and breaking odds and rolling lucky sevens Shit, I'm celebrating life, so pour a glass and have a cheers Till I'm gone, I know my paradise is here Yeah